So, uh, hello, I'm going to show you an example of a data set that uh, the AI project can aggregate or extract from GitHub for you and for you as a re either a repository maintainer or uh, or organization maintainer, whatever role you have and you want to have a data set of your repositories. So, uh, recently we, we gather data from OpenSheet Open Origin and the way uh, it was gathered was that uh, uh, Michael created an issue in MI Scheduler uh, repository uh, that he wants to uh, collect pull request data for open GW origins project and etc etc that's one one option and another option is to uh, do it by uh, making a pull request in top application and uh, you, you you can just make a pull request uh, for uh, for this config map where you would uh, uh, specify just your repository or organization. And uh, yeah, so you can make an issue in MI scheduler or in total application MI scheduler config map. So what we gathered, we gather for for Michael, we gathered the pull request dataset for open to the origin repository, which should be able on S3 on Zeph. And we can have a look. Yes, so it's there and and we can we can ultimately now copy it. Uh, we can also publish it on Kaggle if uh, if you would like to. Uh, currently, this is not published on Kaggle. It's just on our Zeph uh, storage. So I will I will download it from the from the S3. Yes, sorry for that. And the data set is Jason. Yeah, Jason. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and the uh, data set contains entities that were specified in MI. So if you go to the MI, uh, the My Michael's request was uh, collected for the pull request entity that was now uh, somehow refactored uh, to contain more features and to, you know, and to, to basically contain ba basic features of a pull request. So you can see we collect times and uh, comments number, lines, interactions, reviewers, and et cetera, et cetera. But you can definitely make a request for your own entity and for features that you would like to collect from your repository. Now that we have uh, this, this data, I can I can show some just simple exploration. I'm sorry, it's not on Jupyter Hub uh, yet, uh, but I'm I can I can do I can I can make a copy on Jupyter Hub so you will be able to access to access it. And yeah, I don't know. We can create a new Jupyter notebook. We can have a look. At the data set. Uh, so the, da the data set is now stored as a JSON, but in the future uh, we want to have a CSV file uh, because I think it's more practical and more common, commonly used. So we can load it and see how does it look like. Yes. And, um, and yeah, basically you can see all the pull requests for OpenShift Origin, uh, all, all the all the closed pull requests for OpenShift Origin repository, with all the features. Uh, yeah, and there are like I think like seven seventeen thousand pull requests here requests here yeah so yeah that was just a short short demo on how can we aggregate data for for the data set and the next demo uh, I can show you how can you use that data for your analysis of repository
thanks for that one. Um, so did you send feedback uh, or did you send that data set to Michael and did you receive any feedback? Yes, uh, he just now, uh, like a couple of minutes, requested to uh, the access to the LSF. So I will provide him okay. that, that credentials and we will see uh, what was the feedback. And yeah, that's also great because we didn't have, uh, I would say, a customer that requests the data. So the feedback would be really great opportunity to uh, improve the MI uh, per request sorting. Exactly. Cool. Any other question to this one, aggregating all the stuff? Thanks, Dominic. Uh, 